After the transfer is successfully completed, you should see the BigQuery UI, similar to the one on the video. On the left, there is a navigation panel. You can see your project under the Resources tab. Click the drop-down arrow to expand the project and you will see the data sets that are available. I want to see Google Ads campaign data, so I can find the relevant data set and choose a table from the list. There are three tabs characterizing each table, Schema, Details, and Preview. Schema shows all the fields, their names, data types, and the description for each field. The Details tab shows the table's unique ID and other relevant information. Lastly, there is Preview, where you can see the actual data. You can use the Data drop-down to select the date you want to see the data for. Now, let's create some queries. In this demo, I would like to show you three types of queries, and I'll start with a wildcard. A wildcard operator is used to unify all the tables within a data set that match the wildcard expression. Here, you can see the wildcard operator, marked with an asterisk symbol. The expression specifies the fields you want it to select from the data set. Next, run the query to get the data. Then, save the created view. Choose the relevant data set. Give the view a name and click Save. Now, let's say you would like to combine the data from two data sets. For that, you need to use the Union Operator. In this example, let's combine the data from Google Ads and Facebook Ads. First, I click Compose New Query. Let's choose Data Source, Campaign Name, Clicks, and combine this data from both tables, Google Ads and Facebook Ads. You can see the expression on the screen. Next, run the query. Now you can see the data from both Facebook Ads and Google Ads. Another query type I want to show is Data Partitioning. You use this type when you want to extract the data for a limited date range, for example. For that, you would need to use a wildcard operator and a table suffix. Here, I would like to see the campaign name, clicks and impressions fields from the dataset, using a wildcard operator where the table suffix matches the specified dates. In my case, I would like to see the data only for the 14th and the 15th of April. I include the date field as well. Next, I will run the query. After the query is completed, I can see the results for the 14th and the 15th, just as I specified. Lastly, I would like to show you how to export your view to Google Data Studio. After you saved your view, you can create visualization of it. To do so, click Export on the right. Choose Explore with Data Studio from the drop-down menu. Next, the data will start to load. You can see all the fields on the right, for example, campaign name, data source name, Clicks, Record Count. Let's add campaign name to the data source name as a dimension and have clicks as a metric. Now there is a table which includes two data sources. There are campaign names and clicks. 